Are you an investor who's looking to work with a realtor, but every time you try to find one, the realtors you find don't understand your business model and are giving you junk properties that they say are great deals for you to buy? Or maybe when you're trying to sell the properties, you're wondering, heck, I can do better than this person selling my property. Well, today is going to be your lucky day because we're going to be interviewing Scott Spainhauer with the Florida Home Pros, my team with Keller Williams, and we're going to talk about his expertise in helping his investors make tons of money in today's real estate market. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing great, man. Glad to be here. So, Scott, can you give me a little background of your history as a realtor? Sure. So I was in a sales career for 18 years, uh, moved into South Florida, and now I've been selling real estate for about four years now. Four years. And you've been with my team almost that whole time. Yep. Three and a half of that's been with you. Yeah. And I watched you've grown so much throughout the years, but one of your biggest niches that you have right now, your specialty, is the whole investment market. Even in a market that's been a little tough to be an investor in, you've really succeeded when other agents haven't. Yeah, I uh, was fortunate in the very beginning, um, one of the first leads that I started working was an investor that owned about 40 properties down in the East Lake Worth area. And you know, one, one thing leads to another, I was introduced to other investors, and now I've got four or five investors that I work with on a regular basis. And uh, the good thing is, with the investors I'm working with now, they're not all the same. Some are uh, buy and hold guys for the rental cash flow type guys, some of them are the fix and flip guys who uh, you know buy a property, renovate it, and then uh, I end up putting it on the market and helping them sell it for top dollar. Yeah, absolutely. And um, the other thing I noticed, Scott, is is like um, a couple of the investors have used other realtors at the same time they were using you to sell a portfolio of properties for them, thinking that it would be better to spread the risk with the different realtors. But it seems like every time investors have done that with you, you ended up being the only realtor that ended up performing for them and they took away the other properties from the other realtors and then gave them to you to sell. Yeah, that happened with uh, with one of the East Lake Worth investors. Um, he started out and this, this gentleman had like 40, 40 to 50 doors. Some of them were duplexes, triplexes, quadplexes and uh, single family homes. In the beginning, he had given some of the multi-units to a commercial, quote unquote, commercial real estate agent, and uh, and then had given me some of the single family homes, and then a third agent, some of the single family homes. Like you said, he was, I guess, spreading his risk, and uh, I was performing, the other guys weren't, so I ended up selling them all for him. He said selling them all over a couple of years, which was awesome. One of the things I really liked about you um, when you worked with Al and the other investors that have large portfolios, is that you actually went through the inventory that they had to decide what properties should probably sell first and what ones they should hold on to to sell later because they didn't want to sell all 50 properties at one time, right? They wanted to do it over time. Correct, because they were uh, both of the investors that owned that portfolio, they were getting up in age and, and they were planning for their exit out of the business and their retirement, but they weren't doing it all one bang package deal, you know. So we went through those numbers. We we analyzed which properties were cash flowing the best for them. We hung on to those a little bit longer. Sold some of the other ones that weren't as profitable uh, before that. And uh, yeah, so so we phased them out, and now they are completely retired. That's awesome. What a great story. One of the many investors that you work with on multiple multiple occasions is one of the big national franchises that buys not pretty homes. <laughs> for cash and um, what I'm wondering is is like why a big company like that would choose you as the go-to guy over and over again for their deals I know exactly who you're talking about um, he's a great guy he's given me several properties to work with him on and I think the reason you know that he and he has worked with other realtors other than just me and I think the reason he keeps coming back to me has a lot to do with one uh, I don't waste his time um, you know, a lot of realtors will think that they've got a great investment deal and they bring it to an investor and they get them out to the property and they realize, wait a minute, this is, these numbers don't work. So first of all, I understand his numbers, um, you know, what he, what, he, what he needs to acquire the property for. How, basically, how much is he going to need to put into it? What does his closing cost look like on the front end, the back end, his holding costs, all of that different stuff. I understand their numbers. So, you know, he's a super busy guy. We are getting the answers to the questions that I know he's going to ask before he ever asks them, mm -hmm. and give, empowering him with the information that he needs to make the right decisions. On, for example, when we get multiple offers on a property, um, and some of those offers are, are financing offers, buyers using a mortgage, 
Um, we're not just going to take that letter, that pre-approval letter at face value. We're going to take extra steps. We're going to call and vet that loan originator, find out exactly what their debt to income and all that stuff looks like to make sure that they can actually close on that loan. And all of that takes place with me before I ever call Tom or the investor to let them know, hey, we've got an offer. I don't want to just call and say we've got an offer and then he start asking questions that I don't know the answers to. He, I call and say, we got an offer and here's what I've done. I've done this, this, and this. I've spoke to and found out this, this, and this. Here are my concerns and we go from there. So Scott, how are you able to clean up their messes? Well, first and foremost, you know, like you said, I'm taking these properties a lot of times at the same price that the other realtors have it. So it's not a matter of we're trying to lower the price just to get the property moved based on price. We're, we're taking them at the same prices as the other agents and we're marketing them. That's that's the difference between the Florida home pros and other and just your typical agent that does the put the sign in the yard and pray that pray that the MLS sells it for me. Um, you know, we do reverse prospecting. We have a database of investors that we call out to. Uh, we understand the numbers behind the situation. You know, the property that he brings me, um, is it a property that has the potential to be renovated and sold for a profit? Um, or, is it, or is it something that another investor could put minimal work into and raise the rent rolls and potentially increase the cash flow? So have, being able to understand those, those different options or ideas and different ways to market the property and get the most eyes possible on that property, that's the difference and it's all marketing. What a treat to be able to talk to one of the top agents that specialize in working with realtors. And if you're looking for a realtor to work on your investment portfolio, you got to give us a call. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our page. And if you want other investment videos from the Florida Home Pros, just click up here.